Hello, I'm Mama S. Thank you for being here. Last time on the Spirit Fairer, we finally found Giovanni and he has joined us on the boat. Let us jump straight in with the action on the great ship Lollipop. Let's go see Giovanni. Hey, Pina. Mm -hmm. I see you picked a spot on the map. What wonderful initiative, Bambina. Seeing the world, going places, meeting new faces. He looks all rather full of himself, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. It's also so exhilarating. Will we go somewhere incredible, though? Could you do something for me? No. He reminds me of that dude from The Lion King. What's the baddie lion? Snarl or something like that. Mm -hmm. Let's just go somewhere else. Okay, I'll let you into a little secret. I want to make someone really happy. Shh, don't say it out loud. A secret, I told you. And yes, you guessed right. A very special lady. I want to show her how much she matters to me. Ha, I knew you would be on board. All right, we need to go to Bottom Line Corp to do some shopping. I've heard the shop there just received a new batch of fancy chocolate boxes. She just loves chocolate. The dark and expensive kind. It's the perfect gift, don't you think? Wonderful Bambina, let's head there then. Excuse me, have you seen Annie? She's my daughter. I think we got separated on our way here. She should be easy to find. She put her red hat on today. With her nice blue beach outfit. <gasps> oh, maybe we need to put a blue outfit on with a red hat. It was her birthday present from her dad, you know. It's... Oh, Annie, where are you? Oh, I know what to do. Hang on. Blue outfit, red hat. That's what we need to do then. So on Annie's beach outfit, red hat though, Stella. Where's my hat? Like that. Doesn't look much like a beach outfit, but we'll run with it. Oh. Annie, there you are. Oh. I was scared I thought you had left. I'm feeling oh. tired. We're on our way home, aren't we? Tell me when we're there. We're there, oh. come on. Here, Stella, I baked something for the crew. I'll let you distribute it. Ooh, rice pudding, fisherman's pie and apple pie. Nice. Bring Alice to the Everdoor. Oh, great, we can get rid of the hedgehog. And talk to her while wearing Annie's outfit with a red hat. We have arrived at Calston Mines Discovered. Nice. Ooh. Oh, wait one second there. You can't be here. This mine has been abandoned for 40 years. So what are you doing here oh. then? You can't just waltz in there. Can I foxtrot in then? <laughs> you don't have the proper credentials, but I love the oh. attitude. I do see some potential in you as a future security recruit. You just need some training. I went to school for this job, oh. you know. I suppose if you went out and got said training, I could deputize you. That would work actually. A break once in a while oh. does sound nice. Listen, go out there and train for this job. Double jump, glide, zip line around. Can't zip glide. Can't zip line yet. You need to be able to do all that before I make oh. you part of the team. I'll see you around, future recruit. We get here too prematurely, I think. Has it expanded the map for me? Ooh, ooh, yes, please, please. Fabulous. And this looks like... This looks like the Aluminium Dragon, it does. Happy days, let's go there. That is one of the quests to do. Now, if we could get rid of Summer and Alice at the same time, do a double shuffle at the Everdoor, that would be cool. Have we arrived at the Dragon? The boat's wobbling. Looks dragon-esque to me. Oh, this, look at <laughs> her neck. <gasps> Oh, something smells different, don't you think? Oh, as I thought, here comes the aluminium dragon. Just, just help it, Stella. Metastatic coil. You want to go jump on its head then, like I do with the other one? Boom. And now I'm in the water, brilliant. Yeah, this is very similar. God, I can't get up there. Try again. Steady on. Too slow. Ready? Go. And then up it goes. No, it knocks me off. What? Ha! 
can't get up there. Oh, this could be interesting. Oh, wait, hang on. There's something over here. Let's go over here. Right, we can get up this side. And then we have to go on the other side when it drops down, I guess. What's that? What just came out of the water? Look, a tail. Are we done? Where's the rest of it? Ooh, big old dragon. Oh, missed. But we're getting aluminium, so I wonder what we can smelt. Or what comes out when we smelt that. Oh my god. Focus, woman. Focus on what you're doing. Didn't seem too happy about that. Yeah, we're back on the boat. Incredible. I know. We are, aren't we? It's very green. I... I need some time. Sorry. All right, ta-ra. Bye. Oh. Stella, oh, you've had your time, have you? Okay, yes. Stella the dragon. I thought it was getting tamer. It seemed like we finally learned to coexist, to manage at least, but it's really getting stronger, isn't it? Well, you know what it means as well as I do. It's time for me to go. Yes, we get rid of the snake as well. Please, when you can. Bring me to the ever door! Yeah, baby, yeah! Two in one! Two in one! Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'll be fine. Yes! The metastatic coil has been advanced. Which is this one? Bring summer to the ever door. We have found the museum. Let's go then, then. I think that was a quest, wasn't it? We're looking for a figurine or something. There we go. The uh, walrus! Uh -huh. Yes, you, scumbag. You stole the whatever it was. Jigsaw puzzle or wooden painting or something. Mm. Oh, great. Oh, Just fantastic. Oh. The spirit fair is here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. And don't mess with me, punk. On this god's forsaken rock in the middle of the ocean, she came all the way over here. She saw the cold, steep surface of the cliffside below with its broken ladder. She saw all that and thought, yes, how inviting. Surely I am welcomed here. Sensing tiny, tiny bit of sarcasm there. Well, you found me. No use running from it. Let me run the old tape for you. <clears throat> Spirit Farah, whose name I don't know, nor care to know, I am the Collector, otherwise known as Susan. The Collector known as Susan. The gods, in all their materialistic arrogance, have played a cruel trick on me. You see, I am the Collector, not by choice, but by duty. Through your ceaseless plunders of this world's very finite wonders, you will no doubt come to stockpile a collection of junk to rival the greatest garbage dumps of history. So when the time comes, show me what monstrous assortments you managed to put together, grab your meaningless reward, and leave. She needs to work on her customer service skills. Quickly, and pick up after yourself. Collections, right. Ah, so this, okay. Right, because I've been picking these up and I've like absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do with them. We get a reward, nice, what do we get? Well, let's see, what have you got now? Looks like some kind of... Why? Why in the name of everything that is holy and beautiful do you carry this horrible thing around? It's not only offensive to my eyes, it hurts the very essence of my soul. But wait, I recognise this. Oh, oh no. I should have known from the very beginning. It's that man, isn't it, who sent you? Yes, it is. That shallow, materialistic, superficial fraud of an intellectual. He sent you, didn't he? What a crooked, treacherous weasel. He's mad about losing his precious little wood print, isn't he? Yes, he is. Well, now he's never going to see it again. I can guarantee it. Perhaps he can learn a thing or two about ascetism. And as for this preposterously silly collection, your reward is, let's see. No, this can't be. No. The fates can be so cruel. Well, all right. Just take it. Take the bloody woodprint. Go back to the blabbering fool. Just, 
Just take anything you want and get out of my sight. Okay, so we've got the wood print back. Nice, but I've got more to give you, love. More. Look. We get a blackberry outfit is the next reward. Ooh, how nice. How exciting. You've started collecting a new type of junk. This time it's fish. They smell bad and they're all terribly ugly. Yet you can't help but try to catch them all, can you? Fortunately for me, you probably won't be able to complete this collection. They are slippery little bastards. <gasps> Language. Hermitite. What else can I give you? Next one is a diamond. Ooh, now you're talking my language. Broken shiny rocks. What a joy. Well, you've got a long day ahead of you. Listen, don't let me keep your spirit, Farah. You have two jobs now, finding gems and spirits. By the way, whoever came up with such a ridiculously sounding name as Spirit Farer? That kind of makes sense, because we carry spirits and we ferry them around until we get them to the Ebb door. I like the name. It sounds terrible and doesn't roll off the tongue like my name. Susan. Susan. Susan the Collector. Well, it's been emotional. Thank you. Goodbye, Susan. Come on, Daph, let's go. So we could go explore this new bit. Take a left to the bus stop. Let's do that. Because it might expand the rest of that map. Right, let's go check the pier out. Oh, it's locked. Something else that's locked. Oh, madam. Yes? You've got that face. Larry Salzberg knows faces, and yours could be on a poster, on a billboard. You're not talking, but I can imagine your voice, and I hate it. Charming people. But we can fix that in a post. We'll get one of the girls to do a dub everything. You'll be perfect. What? You're not an actress? You don't do vaudeville? You've never been with Siegfeld? Nothing for those French shepherd dresses or whatever it's called. That's impossible. You would have been perfect. But if that's true, you're pure undiscovered mm. talent. I must have you in my next picture. I must. I don't have a script nor a director, but that doesn't mm. matter. It will be called something like Visions of Perfection. Mm. Murder. Suspense. Something to get the blood boiling. Mm. Something to make the town talk. Talking about my new young star. It will be a box office Ooh. smash. Can't you see it? Yes, of course. I knew I could count on just walking the streets. You'll be a star in no time when my name isn't Larry Salzberg. Now, we need to Ooh. find you a co-star. My casting director is on her honeymoon with her new beau. So I warm. It doesn't matter. What does matter is this picture. I just thought about in the last five Ooh. minutes. I do need to cast this picture with stars. Star power. This town is drier than my shirts on a clothesline in the summer. Could have come up with a better metaphor. Let's see. Joan is filming that daughter-mother picture. Vivian is out of the question. Judy is off somewhere magical. We'll need to find someone with gumption, gravitas. There's this veteran, Catherine, who would work. Apparently she's been taking in nature recently. Somewhere on obscure canopy, I believe. Wait, one second. I just had another idea. We could also go the demure, naive route. Someone like Ingrid. She could also do justice to our new movie. She just bought a new place in Old Central District. You could go meet her there. Ah, so many possibilities. Casting movies, what a rush. All right, I'll leave it in your capable hands. Find us a match. Someone that you think will pop on the screen. Brilliant. Okie dokie, we'll go find someone then. That's locked as well. Ooh, there's more to this island. That's locked. Hello, who are you? Some lunatic wakes me up every day. He jumps in the water screaming. He always says, Oh, what is it? I'm the big fish man, or something like that. He's so loud. And it's not just the screaming, it's the thrashing in the water. Poor fellow doesn't seem to know how to swim. I should close my bedroom window. Maybe not. I came here for the ocean breeze. I came with the early bird swimmer. That's locked as well. <gasps> What's this? It's like a jellyfish making thing. That's as high as we can go. 
Right then, that calls for one thing then. Let's glide, see where it takes us. No! There's a treasure chest up there. Oh my God! That was so close. Go do it again. Mamma mia. Always worth gliding. Always worth gliding. All right, jump and glide. What's going to happen? How do we get up there? All right, Daph. <laughs> Daph's caught us up. How do we get up there? Maybe we need another skill. Zip line. We need to come back here when we've got the zip line skill. I'm going to go up again but glide the other way this time. Just to see what I'm missing. To tease myself some more. Let's see what this side has to offer. <gasps> it's another treasure chest. Oh my god. So we need to zip line it. We need to come back here with zip line. Can zip along them. So we've got to go to the other side of the map, which is annoying. But we can dump two of the spirits off, which is not so annoying. We have expanded more of the map. Gosh, we're having a very productive evening here. So we need to go back to Furugawa. I think we said Furugawa, didn't we? Which was over here. Right, so we need to go and find... Maybe this is the other spirit then, because we need... We need another obol. Every time you rescue a spirit, you get given an obol. And then you can use these obols on shrines that activate certain skills. And I'm missing the zippy line skill. I've got your woodprint, buddy. Back again, are you? And would you look at that? You've got the piece. I have. Oh, Stella, this is very good. You've managed to wrestle the woodprint from the cold hands of the hag. Yeah, okay, I didn't say I wrestled it, but yeah. What ingenuity, what spunk. I don't like that word. Yes, you'll prove to be an immense asset to all of my endeavours. I have a friend who doesn't like the word refrigerator. I mean, how does that work? How can you not like the word refrigerator? Uh, yes, you'll prove to be an immense asset to all my endeavours. Or shall I say, our endeavours. Why, what are we doing now? Well, it's decided uh -huh. then. There is no pursuit. Oh, God, this is the spirit. Yes, give me an obol. There is no pursuit left for me on this island. Therefore, I will join your little expedition as a passenger. Mind you, not as a crew member. Now, you listen to me, buddy. You come on my boat, you work. Yeah, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, such a boat might just be the perfect gallery. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Do we get an obol? Do I have to talk to him for the obol first? Give me an obol. A marvellous venue. Uh -huh. All right, all right. I know I can do it. Sure, it might tingle a bit, but this is where he transforms from his funny little cloaky thing into a... The shadow is supposed to give us some idea, but I'm not sure what that is. Well, what if it hurts? Uh -huh. Just suck it up, buddy. You'll be fine. Ah, you're here. Good. You won't let it be painful, will you? I will if you don't get on with it. Okay, I don't really trust you, but what choice do I have anyways? Like a crow. Is he a crow? Yeah, some sort of bird. Ha! What the hell is that? What is that? It's a chicken. <laughs> a turkey. A red-faced turkey. The cowl hooded red faced turkey. I don't know what it is. Ha! I did it! And I didn't even faint. It actually feels alright. Who knew? Well then, let's get started. What? Oh, but of course, pardon my enthusiasm. I forgot to introduce myself. I don't know what the hell that is. How forgetful and impolite. I'm Gustav. <laughs> And I don't know why, but I can't exactly shake the feeling that we've met each other already. Anyhow, I'm glad that our paths have crossed on this island and know that together we will accomplish great things. This world is part wonderful and disgusting, and so is art. Truly, Stella, the gods have struck us with a grand inspiration. It is our solemn duty to elevate souls with beauty and awe. My resolve is strong, Stella. I will put together the greatest exhibition of my life and you will help me. 
Oh, how grandiose it will be. Ah, but first payment. Here we go. The obol. I've been called a lot of things, but never a cheapskate. Yes, we have the obol. Now we can get the zippy zippy liney skill. It is some sort of bird, isn't it? What the hell? Look at that. Yeah. How drab. How rude. You've just arrived on my boat and you're calling it drab. Uh -huh. hmm. Stella, the boat looks delightful, but... This prow, what a waste of space. Really, you should consider brightening it up with a bit of a figurehead. We could put your head on it. That would be a good idea, do you not think? I'm sure any decent shipwright could help you with that. Then we have the obol, so we can go to... Um, Nord somewhere other and pick up that skill. That was the zippy zippy skill, I think. Nord, Nord Vile, lovely jubbly. Let's unlock that skill. Now, where to start? Before we start working on the exhibition proper, some preparations are required. Namely, making sure we have access to proper installations. Now, bear with me. Is the boat equipped with some sort of woodworking facility such as a sawmill? Yes. It would have numerous structural applications. Yes, how convenient. A loom would also make us, would allow us to make clothing and canvas. I have that too. Is there one aboard? Fantastic. A foundry with metal working tools also has a number of applications. Well, I have one of those too. Is there anything that could fit the bill? There is a fully functioning foundry. You've got quite a well furnished ship, Stella. Yes, and you called it drab. Uh -huh. And finally, the cornerstone of any curator's work, a mailbox. Well, I've got one of those too. Correspondence with my fellow academics and collectors is essential to my work here. You've built a mailbox already. Fantastic. Well, it seems a couple of items are left unchecked. I'll let you get to it. Lock and load. We're going into PVP. What's he talking about? Upgrade the boat with a figurehead. Now, where was this shrine? I hear it. It's here. Yes, we can unlock the zip line. Whoop, whoop. Boom. Up you go, Stella. And we've done it. We have the zip line. Request advanced. Oh, yes, that's the dude at the mine. Hold the up thingy to zip line on ropes and wires. Can we do it here? Need to get up there first. I want to practice my new skill. This shiny thing. Is that you trying to talk to me? I'm freezing my feet out here. We'll go indoors then. It's not difficult. Let's practice. Hold that. Oh, look! We use... <laughs> we use it as a belt. How cool is that? And we can go up. Amazing! We can go up as well. That is so cool. It goes up as well. It defies gravity. And we've learnt the apple pie recipe. We've unlocked the skill. Let's go. Who has sent us mail from the mysterious postman? A letter from Albert. What does dear old Albert want? Dear valued customer, for a special time, we are running a special promotion. Enclosed is a special blueprint, all part of our new Funtacular series, a zipline post. Zip through the air like a majestic bird. Why would I want to do that on my boat? I can just move from one place to another. So I think we will head to Bottom Line Corp. Because that's going to sort out Giovanni. Let's do that. Now for the real work. Now that our prep work is fully complete, I think it is time to start working on some proper infrastructure. Ideally, a project of this breadth would require a dedicated space to protect the more fragile pieces of from the elements. But it also requires an office desk from which the curator can work comfortably. Uh -huh. As well as a waiting area, a front desk, some storage, maybe even a gift shop. <laughs> gift shop. Though we might manage without one. What? A bit much? On the contrary, Stella. I assure you that all these are perfectly necessary. Luckily... As a rational man, I realise that space might be an issue. That's why I've thought of a multi-purpose area that would do wonderfully. Let's get to it. Grab a pencil and listen carefully. I just so happen to have a pencil in my pocket. A gallery is a paradoxical space, for it both houses works of art and is one. 
Architecture is, after all, the first expression of humanity's mastery over nature. As such, oh my God, does this go on, doesn't he? I'm glad we've just moved past that. So Stella looks bored to tears. All right, have you got all that written down? I don't mind going over the finer points of the lecture again. No, you're all right, thank you. We're going to Bottom Line Corp to get some chocolate. Goodbye. Yay. All right. Mm -hmm. Go, take a look. They should have it here. Get the nicest chocolate box you see. Well, cough up then. Give me some money mm -hmm. for it. Not the cheap stuff. Is that going to be you? i got to buy chocolate from you. Box of chocolate. Thousand glims. Oh, my God. This better be worth it. This better be worth it. Beautiful Bambina. Mm-hmm. Aha, I knew I could count on you. You're terrific, Bambina. You know that? Marvellous, exceptional, admirable. We don't deserve you. Nope, no one does. Okay, let's pack up, guys. We don't deserve Stella one bit. Yes, please do. Get off my boat. You wonderful little peanut. All right, now give it to me, please. Have a box of chocolates, buddy. Thank you. Aha, yes, she'll love it so much. I'll hold on to it. Let's head back to the boat, Bambina. You look like you could do with some food, buddy. What would you eat? What would a lion eat? Not that that makes any difference, to be honest. Let's give him some bulla base. We've got loads of it. Aha! Now, this is something special, quite the fine dining experience. I, Giovanni Leone Formidable, am a creature of refined taste, of exquisite complexity, and this... This hits the spot. It looks like he's eating spaghetti with meatballs. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Grazie mille to the chef. Yes, I know it's you. Have we found his favourite food straight off? No, just that he likes fine dining. Okay, well, you eat your spaghetti-looking boulebets. We're going back to the boat. So this is where I'm going to end today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I would appreciate it if you'd like the video and subscribe to this channel if you've yet to do so. It's free and you would be helping me out. If you like watching live streams, you can find me on Twitch. I also have a Facebook page and I like to tweet using Twitter. The links to these are on the About page here on YouTube or you can go to www.mamasgaming.co.uk. Until next time, I wish you all a fabulous remainder of your day. Ciao for now.